This is Athens! <laughs> Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any content I produce. Today, I'm going to be taking a trip to an event in Athens, Greece called Athens Rhythm Hop, and it's gonna be high. <laughs> now, I've only visited this swing community one time years ago, actually on my birthday. I had such a great time. This community was so fired up about swing dancing, and they had a vast array of dancers with incredible talent who are passionate swing dancers, blues dancers, and solo dancers. But this time, I'm going to be specifically looking at a competition with the Jack and Jill format. Many of you all do not know, this is a format where you just take a random lead and a random follower and you throw them together and they've got to improvise like in, in front of people. It's absolutely terrifying if you've never done it, but it is awesome and it's invigorating if you have. So without further ado, I can't wait to give you my big fat bloated opinion right after this. Here we go. Band, yes, sir. Yeah. 
I'm really glad I laid down some clear parameters for myself in judging this competition because I could be just overly critical just to be critical but because my purpose was to find something that was unique and different I'm now allowed to relax on the things that are usually the focal point in a competition like this. You know, normally I look for control and timing and creativity, but in this case, I'm just looking for the creativity part. And quite frankly, there were just two dancers that really stood out to me the most. Now, my favorite dancer all around in this competition was a follower by the name of Iran. In this competition, she ultimately possessed all of the qualities that I normally would demand for the first place winner. But even if I just took away two of those fundamental pillars, her style was just so rhythmic and fluid to me that she, she was my favorite. Now, I particularly liked how she was able to smoothly vacillate between Charleston rhythm and Lindy Hop syncopations. Now, you could really see this when she does a swing out that goes directly into a circle, then into a tuck turn back into some type of Charleston sequence. And a lot of people have trouble when they make that transition and end up looking like they're doing two separate dances, but she doesn't have that problem at all. And guess what? My second favorite dancer was her lovely partner who had the awesome footwork and controlled upper body positioning. You see, it's funny sometimes because the thing that stands out creatively is often something all the rest of the dancers are not doing. The specific thing in this case is the, the leader's ability to control his upper body while doing fancy footwork on the lower part of his body. Yes, a few other dancers had that ability, but I feel like this dancer was far more superior doing this while improvising without abdicating the role of leading. It's so easy to do that. I also really enjoy the band in this footage and, and just love seeing when dancers get an opportunity to dance to live music as opposed to just dancing to a lot of the famous songs we already know that the DJ plays. It just changes the atmosphere a little bit. So what do you all think about this competition? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget if you haven't checked out the benefits of being a part of my Street Smarts swing community check out the link in the description you'll get weekly classes with me and also some personal coaching if i don't see your comments below hopefully i get a chance to see some of you in my class online take care